So, yeah, this was just an example. Of course, we do also show here the, the, the latest, uh, let's say, arriving uh, protocol matter, uh, where we have a first solution and we are preparing it to bring it on the market in the coming uh, weeks, let's say. But yeah, you can see the first demo already over here. Now let's go back to the U5. Sorry, guys. But I see now the booth is available because that is very nice and interesting uh, feature of the U5. So, yes, let me welcome to Manuel. Hello, nice to meet you. Hi. Hey. So, Manuel, please tell us something about uh, the U5. Yes. With the focus on the low power. What yeah. is so unique inside this microcontroller to make it so special for the low power consumption? Yeah, so it's, there are two main reasons, so two main uh, important features. One is uh, security, but here we are focusing on ultra low power. So uh, on this uh, microcontroller, uh, U5, uh, we have a dedicated uh, state machine which is working independently from uh, the core. So the core is uh, off, or let's say in stop two, and the peripherals can work uh, autonomously because the, the CPU is not fetching any instruction. We have a dedicated uh, DMA instances, which is a low power DMA, which is fetching the instructions instead of the CPU. Uh, so you have a subset of peripherals that uh, you can use while the core is in uh, stop mode. So uh, this modality is called low power background autonomous mode, and right now is a special feature for STM42 U5. I can show you what are the peripherals that you can use and some use cases. You can use communication peripherals like I2C, SPY, UART. In fact, this is what we are demonstrating here and we'll show you later. Uh, we are demonstrating a, an I2C reading from an accelerometer. And in addition, you have a dedicated 12-bit ADC for this low-power domain, which is called the smart run domain, that you can use to store your data. Uh, the data are stored uh, in a dedicated SRAM and down to stop two you have 16k bytes of SRAM available and uh, you can decide to wake up then the core uh, on the strategy you prefer transfer complete, art transfer complete or when you reach a certain threshold for example uh, and other peripherals which are available are uh, DAC for digital to analog converter low power timer, you can also create uh, control loops because you have also some analog peripherals which are available, comparators, op amps, uh, and you have dedicated low power SIO which are available and very interesting for example for implementing your own data transmission protocol. Um, in general what you can do is chaining a different peripheral to achieve uh, uh, your task and uh, uh, keeping the MCU in low power and achieving uh, ultra low power consumption so with this solution you can cut your power consumption by a factor 10. Um, uh, Are you talking about 16k? 16 16k's of RAM down to stop 2 so it means that when you uh, initialize uh, you build your function uh, your LPBAM application you have to be sure that the variables and the handlers that you use in your application are stored in these 16k bytes. Uh, when the memory is full, you can then wake up your core, uh, do some computation, and then come back to your task, for example. That's a smart strategy? Yes. There? Yes. This is a, uh, a very smart strategy. Another interesting fact is that, uh, uh, for example, when you're doing an analog conversion, you can also decide to wake up on, uh, on a threshold. So when you have a certain value, you can decide to wake up the core. Uh, Somebody's the, asking uh, yeah. 128k SRAM would be better. What would you say to that person? Yeah, so um, you can definitely use more RAM if you go to higher power states. Uh, we have to say that for the solution, for the implementation we've seen so far and customers using LPBAM, 60k is pretty okay because you can always wake up for a while doing your operation with 160 megahertz and then come back to stop two. And uh, go on with your uh, with your low, ultra low power tax. So uh, I, maybe I can give you a short overview of the demo we are presenting here. So uh, we are reading an accelerometer via I2C3. We have a dedicated I2C3 instance which is I2C3 uh, free, um, and uh, the acquisition from the sensor is triggered by a low power timer, um, and the same timer is also triggering. Uh, a NAV timer, which is a low power timer free, which is generating a completely independent task with modulated PWM. Um, 
In, so we basically have two DMAs channel doing two uh, different tasks. One is uh, configuring and reading data from the sensor. Here we are reading two times six bytes from the sensor. And we have another DMA channel which is taking care of generating uh, a variable PWM in circular mode. And uh, to do so, we use our U585 disco board, which has accelerometer and gyroscope on it, and also some uh, nice connectivity, like Wi-Fi and Billy, and our uh, power shield uh, that is based on L496, our cube, and we have I2C uh, signals. If I stop the acquisition, you will see that uh, the uh, sampling time is around one millisecond. And on the third channel, we have the modulated PWM. Then we have other free channels which are used for debugging purposes to see um, what's going on in the smart run domain. In fact, this is a very clever way to debug low power application. When these free signals, which are CD stop, sysleep, and SRD stop, uh, are high, it means we are in stop two. And when this signal is toggling, it means uh, we have DMA transfer happening. Now we measure the consumption with our uh, X nuclear LPMA01 and our cube monitor power, I will show you. So, we are now measuring the consumption, the application is running with cube monitor power. One very interesting feature is that you can select your uh, time window and you can have uh, a calculation of the average power and uh, the average current uh, that is used. So in this case, with low power background autonomous mode and one millisecond power timer, uh, we are in the range of 61 microamps. Uh, we have built an application which is using instead another, uh, which is using a, what we call legacy mode. So we are, we have built a benchmark application which is not using LPBAM. So you have to imagine that the uh, the core has to wake up when the transfer is happening, and uh, uh, you keep on switching between stop two and run to do this transfer. So we can also demonstrate in this case that if I flash, for example, the example that uh, it's using uh, this legacy mode, okay, I will show you. We can observe two things, okay, from this logic analyzer. First, what is happening on this free channel is a bit different from what we saw before. These lines are toggling, it means I'm waking up very frequently, okay? which is not very good for power consumption. In fact, if I measure the power consumption with this legacy application, uh, you will see that the values are around 180 microamps versus 60 microamps. So we are gaining a factor free uh, of, uh, of power with uh, this uh, uh, low power background autonomous mode. So we can generalize the result saying that uh, with STM42U5 and low power background autonomous mode, you can achieve great benefit in terms of power saving up to a factor 10. In this case, we demonstrate also that the gain you have is increasing uh, as we increase the sampling frequency of the I2C interface. And this result is valid for I2C, UART and SPY, so for all communication interfaces that we have on STM42U5. If you want to discover more, I leave you with some reference links from our uh, application notes which are mainly related to low power and to one of our, our latest on-demand webinar which is in fact showing how to build this application from scratch. Thank you very much. Thanks to you, Manuel. Very great pitch. Thank you. Thanks. Do we have any questions? Uh, sounds like the SGM32 U5 is a beast. Yes, yes. It's really... You know, it's uh, our latest product based on the 40 nanometer technology, so very progressive uh, and latest one. And really the combination of performance, security and low power enable this to create at many of our customers, let's say, the dreaming applications.